kind of a new or something like that. Or however, however with these techniques, that means they are trying to defeat other technique uh, approaches. That means so it you may find some uh, good words describing the advantage of this paper in around this kind of uh, word. However, other these techno uh, techniques are something like that. And then if you have more time. Uh, say. So you just uh, quick through, you just go quick through the novel or uh, new or uh, we propose, and nothing will be found in this part, so you can skip it. And then in this part, you may see we present uh, something like that, novel graph structure once again. So this is a repeat sentence of that part. So the good part, good papers sometimes we repeat the same sentence with the same terminology to impress you that this part is really important. So this is kind of how to say mind, uh, how to say in English, mind washing. <laughs> so technical papers actually is advertisement, not the technical, technical all the technical papers, all the technical documents is advertisement because so they want to let you understand our idea, that our idea is really good. This is totally same as a way of advertising. Our product is cheap and good, so you should buy it. Our idea is really new and good performance, so you should apply it. They are all the same. In that sense, they should keep on the advantages. So if they, have, uh, uh, they are proud of one topic, they should repeat that topic once, uh, from, he, from time to time in the abstract, in the introduction, in the last part of the introduction, in the technical first part of the technical part, in the uh, beginning part of the experiment, in the middle part of the discussion, in the conclusion. They can uh, repeat all the same sentence uh, with slightly different uh, syntax, but uh, the meaning should be same. Otherwise, it's kind of useless advertisement. So as you may know, so the good way of making, uh, promoting the, promoting, selling the product is to repeat the same commercial on the TV programs every day, every hour. Yeah, from uh, uh, many, many times. That is a very good way. Of course, that CM should be well organized, should be impressive, but it is also important to repeat because the, this kind of repeatedness uh, will let you know this part is really important. So if you see the uh, same sentence, uh, probably uh, they are very eager to show that this graph structure is a very good part of this uh, paper. So you should include this kind of description to summarize the idea of this paper. And then you may see we employ something like that. But unfortunately, this time uh, we fail in finding the good part because we employ the existing method. So this we should skip about that because we don't need to read that. This is not a new part. And then, uh, then uh, this is the last part of the, uh, not the last part, okay. So definitely in the introduction, the first paragraph is the most important. Then the last paragraph is the second important second uh, most important ones. So if you have a time, first read the first paragraph and then read the last paragraph. Then you have a time, you can read in the middle. So and actually, so this is a good paper. So in the second, uh, in the last program, paragraph, uh, they also mention about the adult, uh, second advantages of this paper. So the practical useless, useless Usefulness and flexibility of our approach is to blah, blah, blah. 
this is not the first appealing point, but they also want to uh, mention about mention something about this part. So they should they just insert this sentence in the second important part of the introduction. Then, uh, okay, let's see the background. But so, if you want to see the background, what you have to check is that comparison. So the uh, reason of the introducing the background or related work is to compare their ideas and our idea and show the advantage of their uh, new ideas. So that means so also this kind of also or uh, few approaches or our goal or our approach, this kind of terminology could be the key to understand the essence of the background. Or you may just skip long history of this research areas. And, uh, of course, uh, as there is always a possibility to, to quit, uh, to uh, let the readers quit reading. All the important sentences should be in the first part, first two or three sentences, should be found in the first two sentences in every uh, section. So you just, if you have, don't have time, you just first check the one or two sentences. Then, uh, the, if it's meaningless, uh, you just uh, look through this kind to the background part to find out this kind of words. But once again, so if you don't know, if you don't need to uh, check this paper is good or not, so you can you can look uh, skip all this part to here. And then, so in the last, so this part is a little bit uh, sometimes different from the background. So sometimes this is conclusion of the background, but sometimes they use this part to introduce the uh, coming technical parts. Or maybe you may find the similar matters on the, at the end of the introduction to show the organization of the rest of the papers. So in that sense, you should check the last part of the background or you should check the in last part of the introduction. And then you may start reading the technical part if you are interested. But if you are interested, well interested in reading the technical part, you should go back to the first part, read all through the document. If you are really uh, interesting, uh, interested in this paper. So once again, what I'm talking today is kind of a tricky way of reading the paper, not the also the, uh, ordinary, the best way of reading the paper. So if you want to read, if you want to understand uh, well, you have to go back and uh, read from the beginning. And I'm sure that these papers are really good. You won't waste the time. If you have time, probably the reading of this kind of paper will be a very helpful, will be uh, intuitive, fruitful to you. So, so in that sense, so what uh, in the uh, tricky way, you don't need to read all the documents in the technical paper. But if you want to still see some things, once again, you just read the first paragraph or first sentence, or two, uh, just two sentences, something like that. Once again, because they are always afraid of uh, uh, miss, uh, missing the readers in the middle of reading, the, uh, in the middle of the reading, their reading. So they should always insert the important sentence in the first part of the uh, paragraph. So in that sense, you should check the at least the first sentence, at least the first paragraph to grab the idea, outlook or uh, outline of the idea. And then 